Welcome everybody to this really special occasion that TSA is hosting today along with our partners at the AHSN Northwest Coast and predominantly our CCG here in East Cheshire. You're going to get a unique opportunity today to showcase how health, housing and social care need and must work together to actually transform lives. Who is TSA? We're the expert voice. In TSA, we're a membership organisation, but we work really closely with strategic partners across the whole of the UK to create this vision. This vision's not about technology. This vision's about how we change people's lives. Every one of you in the room will be sitting there with an iPad or some electronic device. How you communicate with your family, your friends, your relatives, whoever. Why is that not the case in healthcare? Why can we not communicate in this way? The technology's there, and you'll have seen in the showcase how technology is advancing the healthcare world, but we now need to work together as partners to actually make this happen. I think today, with even just the badging of the collaboration across health, housing and social care, you'll see how partners across the whole of the UK are really starting to make this happen. East Cheshire alone has a collaboration across the whole landscape of Cheshire, which shows how the CCG is driving. We have the chair here today going to tell you all about that. We have Tim Ellis from NHS England from a national point of view saying, how do we actually make this all work? TSA and its partners is this. We can't actually support members and the wider strategic partners unless we start working together. And you'll see the big names on there, but it isn't just working on a strategic level. What TSA need to do is work right from the roots, right from the service users and carers, the service providers, to government and lobbying. And that's the sort of support that you'll get. And today is demonstrating how this all comes together. This is a, just a bit background. You all hear about the five uh, forward view plan, but you know what? What difference are we trying to make? We want a universal healthcare system that offers high quality care for all. That's not just healthcare, it's the whole system and how you want to access it. And these four bullets is the key principles that can support through technology-enabled care. Improve your local partnerships. Well, you've seen that today. This is a demonstration in East Cheshire. Radical upgrade in public health. So catching people when they're actually well. How do we support people to stay well in those communities? Enable through technology. This is not about removing that face-to-face -face care, that support, that individual of the professionals, but it's using technology in a meaningful way to support that holistic care and the wraparound care. Put the patient, put the consumer, put the customer at the heart of the care. Let's start delivering solutions that really make a difference. How would we like our care to look as we age? It's, it would be very different to how we can actually access services in the community. But look at the technology piece. Improve patient experience and access. Let them choose how they want to use technology. And today's event will show you some next Fantastic examples of how it's really happening. TSA worked really, and you're going to hear from Tim Ellis, a major piece of work through 3 Million Lives was an industry group, and this is the document. It actually went uh, to the Commissioner um, Assembly and was signed off by Health of ways of how all those partners can actually work together. Now, this is a tool. Tim Ellis is going to talk about how that integrates to the wider aspects of what you're trying to achieve in NHS and how we're going to deliver that and how we can support you to do it. Everybody knows that screen on there. Everybody talks about the key seven-day services, urgent care, the plan, the Better Care Fund, the Care Act. We're all rappling out there about how we actually do it. But over that, we always talk about the reduction in money. Let's forget that for a minute, and I know the CCG and your Commission in Social Care, but let's think about how we can actually change things. And this is what this document will, will support you to do. TSA's main um, USP is standards. Now, these have been out for such a long time, they're predominantly telecare and telehealth, but the landscape is changing. It can't just be telehealth and telecare. 
There's all those wearable apps. There's all those things that you actually, you dial in or you've actually got your wearables. It's different care, it's well-being. We need standards out there of quality support so you know as a carer or you know as an individual that you're safe. We'll be developing over the next few years about the, how these standards can match the needs of the text community. How do we realise the benefits? Now, over the years, I've worked in this industry a long time. I was in service delivery in Newcastle up until two years, years ago. And one of the things, I could never get a commissioner to really engage with me. I could never get health to engage with me, reuse the wrong language. But one of the things is, they keep asking for evidence. There's tons of evidence out there. We demonstrate it. It's been there for years, but we're not demonstrating the right evidence. So TSA has been doing a lot of work with Welsh Government and the Tyne and Weir Fire Brigade, and you'll wonder why we're talking, putting in a health conference, we're putting up about a fire brigade, because it makes a difference, and people die because we haven't got the holistic care. And what we've devised is a benefit realisation. Benefit realisation is a technology solution, but this is a piece of work that TSA is doing with Welsh Government to actually realise benefits from the bottom end users right through to Welsh Government. Now that will be a tool that will be ready around about September, October time that you'll be able to use out there. Whether you're a commissioner in the middle or your care and service providers, it'll be a tool that you can go along and use whoever you've got the, that audience with. Come to the stand, talk about it, but follow this in our, on our website and it's something that, is, that you'll definitely find of use. Today I want us to look at, this was our theme from conference last year, was 21st century solutions. I would like us to think today about embracing and celebrating longer life. And as we go into the workshops this afternoon or you listen to the plenary speakers, at the heart of it, we all want to make a difference. And I believe for us to make a difference, we all have to work together. And thank you for coming along today. If there's anything you want to know during the day, there's plenty of people out there, but enjoy, embrace. But when you walk out of today, this is what we need to be thinking about. Thank you.